Hey everyone, this is Senior Stationery and today's review is on the Cross Century 18 karat gold field pen. Thank you Mr. Laguma. So, continuing with the whole Cross Century collection, um, I was missing this one which I was finally able to get uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, this is the highest end gold fill model that was made by Cross up until sometime in the early 2000s because I have seen the last model did get the change of font that Cross did in the early 2000s but this is a vintage one uh, so again this was probably a model made around I guess from the 90s to around the early 2000s and this was the highest model uh a higher highest end higher end uh on a top notch over the 14 karat rose gold and after this one what was next was the uh pure gold pens which are very expensive those that run around two thousand to five thousand dollars and are very scarcely made so basically this was the top of the line uh golden one made by cross so what's so particular about this pen or how do we notice well first of all we see uh, same as in the other cross family pens we have the chrome tip then we have the ridges around the barrel as you can notice for gripping area and again this is gold filled so the body the cap as well as the clip are gold filled same as with other higher end cross models, it has the cursive cross font. Same as in the 14 karat gold pens, the sterling silver one, and as well as the solid gold ones. If you ever get to see ones, they are very, very rare to see the solid ones. And then we have over here the marking. We notice this is cross 120th 18 karat roll gold and this is made in ireland i don't know if you can notice over here uh, made in ireland and what's the difference here well instead of a black plastic cap it has a metal gold metal tip with an elegant black band and a black dot remember that the dot is the sign of being a ball point uh, when the tip is solid with no dot, that means that that's the pencil. This model was also made as a uh, as a mechanical pencil, as well as a roller ball. I'm not sure if a fountain pen, but there are a few vintage roller balls uh, occasionally on eBay. But probably this was the most main common one, the ball point. So uh, it's a nice pen slightly more sleeker we could say compared to the 14 karat and the 10 karat gold again this is all metal even the tip but again we have to be very careful because if you drop the pen then you will dent the tip and this will be more harder and probably more expensive to replace with cross and being this a discontinued pen uh, it will be maybe more harder to to repair or get a spare tip on the more on the solid uh, solid gold pens the interesting part is that this thin um, this thin stripe that goes around goes thicker so one one way to notice um, uh, pen one of uh, crosses uh, pens being more uh, fancier is that it gets more thicker black line uh, I noticed once that there were some solid gold I think they were 21 karat gold ones made for Tiffany. They had over here on the clip Tiffany & Co. And it had a bigger end tip gold with a broader black stripe. So that's how you could tell the more expensive ones. But this being the gold fill, this is, again, again, this is probably the entry level, we could say, to the solid gold ones. This is roll gold, 18 karat. So it's getting closer to the... 24 karat which is the maximum 
amount of, of carats for usually used for gold. So this is getting more purer and more purer. So this is more, um, more fancier, but not as pure probably that much as, as the sterling silver one, which uh, for me, that's my own personal favorite, the sterling silver model. But nonetheless, this is still a really beautiful and elegant pen. Very distinctive, still slim as the other ones. It has a nice heft, just like all the other uh, cross pens. Um, I like the heft and feel of it. Uh, my hands are fairly considered big, or at least that's what my uh, glove uh, size is supposed to be. So even despite that, I still find it fairly comfortable and writing with this pen. But now, if we want to compare how yellow is this pen compared to um, this gold, how yellow is this gold compared to the other ones, let's take a look. Over here I have a 14 carat rose gold, and I have a 10 carat from the 1990s US made. So let's see. First, let's compare it to the other yellow gold one. So, if we take a look, it looks quite similar actually. Um, maybe the light's not making it that much of a favor, but in, in real life, if you see it like on, on real life, uh, the 18 carat tends to be maybe a slightly more yellower. But at first glance, if you compare it with this one, this 10 carat, well, it's same shade of yellow. So I, I think this is this gold is fairly, or uh, Cross's gold is fairly consistent. But notice the difference with the cap. The traditional 10 carat and the 18 carat. It's more sleeker, more elegant. This one has more engraving, more explanation, but then again, this is a vintage one. And this one from the 90s has a very faint cross USA and that's it. That's about it. Doesn't specify the 10 carat. At some point, cross just stop writing the 10 carat specification on these ones. You just simply know, I guess. And that kind of made it lost its category. But the new world Chinese made ones, they brought back the explanation of uh, 10 carat gold cap and barrel. Now... If we compare it with this one, the next, the lower level next one, you'll see the the thin black cap compared to this other one. So you can notice here the shade. I don't know if you can notice with the light or not. Over here you can notice better the rose gold in the middle, the 10 carat and the 18 carat. Yellow, kind of rose gold, copperish looking and again yellow gold and you can see how by the size of the black tip this is the more cheaper or more uh, budget and then you jump to this one the rose gold which is a very nice elegant copper like tone which is still a favorite and a popular model sold today and this one they now did that rarity Let's give it a quick spin over here on the paper. So this is the Cross Century 18 karat gold fill. This is made in Ireland, but it was also made in USA. I'm using a Schneider ballpoint refill which writes fairly good and it's very reliable so again this is the 18 karat gold i hope you like this review remember to stay tuned for more uh, stationary reviews and please feel free to make any comments and share any experiences with uh, any of the items that i've been showing or if you're curious to make any questions thanks for watching bye bye